topped with salsa and cheese. Or you can stir some cheese in and top them with bacon. Grits are just so versatile and that's what we're talking about today. Southern style grits. Okay, so today we're gonna to make some grits. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, once you have um, in a pan, you're gonna need two cups of water, and I'm bringing it up to a boil right now. I put a tablespoon, or not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt in there, uh, so we have a little bit of balance with it, and we're gonna show you how to make some delicious grits today. So the next thing you wanna do, you're gonna bring your water up to a roaring boil, like this. And once we've got the water boiling, this is two cups of water, a teaspoon of salt. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add, these are not quick cooking grits, these are regular grits that you buy in the store. They're not the ones that cook in two minutes. These are the ones that are going to take a few minutes to cook. We're going to add those in and stir. You want to make sure you get them stirred up really well because we don't want nothing sticking to the bottom. And there's an art to making grits. If you do it right, you're going to have some creamy, delicious grits to enjoy for breakfast. A lot of people don't understand grits, but if you've ever had them prepared right, you'll understand them. So we see the starch is already starting to come out of them. And as you can see here, I'm going to give them another quick stir real quick. When you see the bubbles coming up, I am going to encourage you to please put a lid. Because see how it is bubbling right now? Let's see if I can adjust it down a little bit. Okay, those thick bubbles are going to start to pop out. So you're going to need a lid to put on top of this because you're going to hear it in just a minute or so when it's actually going to be hitting the top of the uh, lid. At that time point, we want to kind of turn the heat off and let them set for just a couple of minutes so that we can uh, let them finish doing their thing. Now you hear the bubbles in there, you hear the... You see the lid moving, you hear that. If that stuff pops out on you, it's really gonna burn you. So please make sure that you have a lid on. And if you wanna stir them, take it off the heat listen so that you don't hear any more bubbles and then stir but don't stir them while all that bubbling action is going on because you're going to wind up scalding yourself with a second degree or third degree burn in some cases people have had from making grits so we're going to set those now that we've got them where they are bubbling like this we just want to turn our heat off and now what we need to do is just let those set for at least five minutes so that they can finish cooking through because that's the secret to making grits you want to make sure that they are coming together and that they're cooked cohesively so that they're nice and creamy and you get that starch in there so we're going to give them a set real quick and then we'll come back and show you what they look like when they're finished now our grits are set and as you can see they're nice and creamy we don't have any sticking on the bottom of the pan Let's see if i can get to that can't really get that far down but in any case they're not sticking or anything like that and at this point if you want butter or cheese or bacon or salsa whatever you want to add to them add it in at this point because these are ready to serve and they're very hot so I can caution you to be careful with them because they are hot but these are your best bet grits and if you want to add a, if you want a creamier dimension to this you can add some uh, heavy cream in here right now and put it back on the heat for a couple of minutes just to you know low heat just to heat through and make sure that they're still hot and that's going to give you a really creamy a completely different texture so if you're more used to eating something like cream of wheat or something that's a lot real smooth and you don't want to have that little bit of grain that grits are going to have in them um, then you need you can put some um, half and half some sour cream um, heavy cream those types of things. Um, there are vegan alternatives to those things as well. So uh, you can do vegan sour cream, vegan cream cheese is really good in grits. 
Um, so any product that you want to use, pretty much this is a base platform. And if you want to do shrimp and grits, you just need to add in a little bit of uh, some blackened seasoning and some um, Old Bay and a little bit of, I always put some hot sauce in there and some salsa as my base and you've got a great base for shrimp and grits. I hope that you've enjoyed this video today and that you have fun making some grits. It's a primary staple here in the South. Have a great one.